Yo, what up, everybody? It's your girl, Heather Be Nice, and I'm coming to you today with an exclusive interview with Nemo. And he tells me what he's got going on next, what he's been working on, when the new music is dropping, plus how he deals with the haters. So just keep watching the interview. Thanks. So, what's up, Nemo? What's going on? Man, I'm glad we got to catch up with you. Me too. Uh, while you're on the go. Making errands and stuff, right? Eating. Eating, yeah. of course. <laughs> What's a good interview without food? Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. So, yeah. what's been up with you? I mean, First of all, I want to kinda... say, I know I'm chewing, but <laughs> forgive me, I'm hungry. But I just want to let everybody know what's going on. No problem. Yeah. No problem at all. So, you've been kind of like missing. I mean, we see you post on social media, but. We haven't seen like you i feel like you're penny pinching us with uh whatever it is you're working on that's because it's a lot of stuff um so you're gonna give us the scoop today though right i'm gonna give you, gonna give you the scoop okay yeah all right <laughs> i'm gonna give you the scoop what you want to know what is nemo doing right now like where's the Eat music it. and we see your focus in art like what's up with the art We've seen you post, uh, you know, your own personal art pieces and things. So, yeah. where is all this leading us in 2017? <clears throat> to a lot of stuff. Um, first, as far as the music, you know, I want to give y'all uh, a great album, a, a great body of work. And I got to live life to do that. You know, so some of the things that as far as the art that people see and as far as the just anything that I'm doing it's leading up to the album because mm -hmm. everything is a, a, a new experience moving out here to beautiful California is an experience the mm -hmm. art is an experience new studio new producers new just new mm -hmm. it's all a experience so I want to take my time and give you the authentic um, things behind those experiences so that's the only reason it's taking a little bit longer than it probably should mm -hmm. yeah so i mean we're getting these small little snippets of music on your on your instagram <laughs> uh specifically the 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 track you put behind your most recent video i guess of a photo shoot you were doing can you give us any insight on that that recent track is that something off the new album yeah uh the song is called destiny mm -hmm. And it's just a that's a song of you know how to move forward in life you know um moving towards your destiny you know leaving all your failures all your insecurities all the things that made you um you know who you are but made you grow more mm -hmm. that's what that song is about it's called destiny so it's just just going towards your destiny and leaving everything of uh all your past hurts, you, you know, your past disappointments, whatever, uh, leaving it behind. That's what I'm saying. Like, this album is truly an insight to not only my mind, my heart, my family, the things I love, the things I don't like, and the things that I'm trying to change as I'm doing the album. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But it's called Destiny. So, any, yeah. any particular reason that you've um, chosen this, this kind of artist? gallery um, kind of theme for your new newest music? Yeah, it's, it's been like two years um, uh, since I first started it. And it, it basically came from, I didn't even understand that I, well I didn't know, mm -hmm. uh, not that I didn't understand, but I didn't know that I liked it part in that way. And if you see like how the game is going now and how as far as the, the rap game and we need to get back to the pure art of it. You know what I'm saying? Why we want to do it? You know, uh, what are we doing? Are we doing it for money? Or are we doing it for to change something? Is we really got something to say. So in the purest art form, to me, is paint, is art, because they can't speak. Mm -hmm. Painters usually speak through their pictures and their frames. And you look at these things and say, what is it saying? You know what I mean? So. Um, even when it comes to the video, when, when I did Art Love, when I did Art Love, you see that I wasn't in the video. Yeah. The, the, I wasn't in the video simply because I wanted to show the art form. It's, uh, 
it's bigger than me. I'm yeah. doing something right now as far as art, as far as fashion, as far as uh, entrepreneurship. I'm doing a little bit something different. It's about the art form. So I didn't want to show me. I didn't want to show me. I just wanted to show the art. You know what I mean? Focus on that. Catching up with him in his lunch hour. <laughs> Gotta eat. Gotta eat to live. Yes, sir. So, um, yeah, your your video art love was definitely a different take. We don't see artists do anything like that. Um, Cause you know everybody's so busy wanting to be in the camera. Right. They want to be seen. <laughs> right. So um, to see your take on putting your music to the art. That brings me to the question, like, how do you see yourself bringing these two very different worlds together? Well, you know, I'm just trying to bring, uh, you know, bridge the gap a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if I said this once before in another interview, but those worlds are kind of separated. You know, when you really look at it, what, what rappers or artists, you know, go to a a gallery on on a regular just yeah. to get inspired there's only one who's that there's only one in the game doing anything like that oh my man swiss yes yeah shout out to swiss mm -hmm. he's really an advocate of yeah the art rap world but i think he, he, he need more than himself you know what i'm saying i think it's uh those two worlds they are the same mm -hmm. we are artists in everything fashion uh photography um art itself it's a bird up there i hope it don't Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, all those things are, are, are forms of art, and we have to look at it like that. I think these worlds can go together, and it it opens up different options. Mm -hmm. You know, to uh, especially people that rap. You know, because they 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 try to box us in. But what do you feel? I mean, some people people in the culture that you're referring to, like the hip hop culture, or right. maybe the African American culture in itself, are gonna feel like art people art people quote unquote right. are kind of snooty uh stuck up you know i don't want to be around all those rich, it's, that's not true you know no nah, because they i think in, in movies mm -hmm. uh people will definitely get that and if you don't go to an art gallery you, you're not going to get that yeah. it's just regular people that's that want to be inspired like everyday people i think for me i go to an art gallery to get inspired mm -hmm. you know um you can go for whatever reasons that you would want to you know but me, I, I go to be inspired. It's not those type of people. It's everyday people in there. Uh, and most of the people that I've ran into, which is art gallery owners, have been very cool. Mm -hmm. Have been very chill people, everyday people. They just love art. You know what I mean? Like, it's no different. So don't be afraid. Please don't be to afraid. To change waters, no, huh? <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's all good. It's, it, you'll be surprised how much they, they love music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like uh, painters in its purest form, need theme music too. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, we don't need theme music because we are our own theme music. That's what I do.